Carson, thanks so much. Well, pumpkin picking could look a little different this year. Way 31's Luke Hydash joins us live this morning with how the heat over this summer actually affected this year's crop. Luke? Megan, didn't weigh this one before I came out this morning. If I had to guess, 10, 12 pounds maybe. It's a big pumpkin, and it takes about four months to grow one of this size, and it's full adult size. So think back four months ago what the weather was like. Hot, sticky, dry. Those are three adjectives you don't want when it comes to growing pumpkins. And that means when you head to the patch this fall, things may look a little bit different. You may have a few less pumpkins to choose from if the farmer wasn't diligent. The heat and the little amount of rain we had all summer long may have killed off a lot of the crop. Mary Sydney Rich, she owns Hidden River Farms in Hartzell. She's got a big old patch there. She watered that patch twice a day all summer long to make sure that none of her pumpkins died off. And for her, well, it paid off. We couldn't rely on nature to provide us the rain, so we had to supplement. Pumpkins are very thirsty and hungry plants, and in a dry season like this, if they were just left, they, they, would, they would dehydrate and they would starve to death. All right, so think about when you go out to the patch and the pumpkins are on the ground. They've got those big green leaves hanging out over them. Well, Rich says that's actually to protect them from the sun, but this summer was so hot and it was so dry. Well, the sun may have burned through those leaves and actually killed them and gotten to the pumpkin, which could cause some problems if you didn't water them like she did. Reporting live this morning, Luke Hydash, Way 31 News. All right, Luke, thanks so much, Pumpkin. Well, you can track fall temperatures across North Alabama by downloading the Way 31 Storm Tracker weather app. Scan that QR code on your screen right there. This app is free for Apple and Android devices.